Hi everyone. So maps are a really important and the fundamental concept to get in MASH because uh, you can use a map to control the strength of any node in MASH. So in this scene, for example, I'm using a map to control the scale of a load of cubes. Now um, this is a projection texture, so if I move, if I zoom out here and I just move this projection texture, you can see the effect that it's having on our um, on our uh, uh, cubes here and you know you can uh, rotate this projection and create some really weird interesting effects and yeah so um, uh, the, the like I say this is available on every single mash node and um, it just allows you very quickly to create some really really complex effects and it allows you to use everything so you can use a, um, a, a ramp texture or you can use file textures so you can bring in an image or an image sequence even uh, just to control everything so um, I'm going to show you the very basics of using maps in MASH and then we will move on to well I'll, I'll point you out the other the kind of two tutorials which are, are more of an in-depth look into how maps work so um, I'm just going to start a new scene and going to uh, create a MASH network with a cube and then I'll change the distribution type to grid and then in the grid settings here I'm just going to up the distances and up the uh, up the grid X and grid Z setting. <clears throat> so uh, that done, I'm going to go back onto the waiter, I'm going to add an offset node to the scale channel and then I'm going to set, this, the offset node basically adds two channels when it's in the offset mode. It can multiply, it can overwrite, it can multiply by time. So um, uh, yeah, you can, um, that, so basically uh, this will, if I um, do multiply by time and I uh, Everything will expand over time because you're kind of you're doing uh, you're adding one to the scale times whatever frame number it's on. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, you've got uh, you can do multiply everything. So I can multiply this by uh, say I'm multiplying the y scale by two, or you can overwrite the values because they will because all the values were one to start with. Overwrite and multiply doing the same thing. Anyway, so um, enough nonsense. Uh, let's get back to it. So we can. Um, just add, say let's add 10 to our um, Y scale and then uh, we see we've got our normal strength settings here uh, we've got random if we want to and we've also got the step so we can do that like that anyway, um, we also have this map strength so on the map strength let's add say a noise shader and I'm just going to turn down this scale on the noise shader the frequency, sorry, right down and then I'm just going to move time so you will notice that um, there is, because I just added this texture there is no projection, there's no uh, place 3D texture node appeared in the outliner that's because this is a 2D texture and so it doesn't get one by default so you have to right click, um, well I'll show you how to do that in a second anyway so <clears throat> uh, when you so when you don't have a um, uh, when you don't have a 3D texture uh, or a projection texture, uh, the way that the texture is projected onto our mash network is controlled by the map projection axis. And this basically does a planar projection down the y-axis uh, by default. It's as if you've done a UV um, planar down the y-axis, you know, to UV map your mash network. Um, and then you've got um, X and Z as well available as well. Uh, UV is really powerful and really cool, and that, um, there is a, um, a tutorial. It shows you how to use that. Anyway, uh, let's break our connection, and we will add a um, we'll add a noise shader. This time, we'll create a projection, and what this gives us is a place 3D texture node, and I can scale that right up, and I can I can change that, and then obviously, as soon as I move that around, uh, we can see the effects. So um, it's yeah, as you can see, really 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 quick to use maps to uh, affect your mesh network in any way. Of course, this doesn't have to be a uh, noise texture, I just like them because they're complex and fun, uh, however you can, use, you can add a ramp if you want to, if we look at this from the side, you know, and you change your interpolation type, you can see the effect that that has, you can change your ramp type if you want to, you know, um, all of these things have really quick, cool effect. Um, and then of course you can lay these things up, so you can use a, um, uh, you can, you know, uh, you can create comp really complex shading networks and um, uh, create some really interesting effects and uh, the layer shader supported, everything supported really um, as long as it appears in the viewport it will work with MASH and so um, yeah, you, like I say, just create very complex and interesting effects very very quickly um, I think that was about everything I wanted to cover in this, I'll, I'll point you at the oh actually, I'll, I'll show, you, show you something else actually um, like I say, this is available on every node, so if I add a visibility node here, and then what I can do is, in the strength map on the visibility node, I'm going to add a file texture, and then I'm going to choose, um, if I just choose this picture, MASH, which has got the, the 
word mash written. This is actually a really low resolution uh, grid. In fact, I might just turn that grid up. Um, if I just go into effects here and invert the map, and then I'm going to go into the distribute node and I'm going to make this much bigger. So if I go 60 by 60 and then uh, do this 60 by 60, then you can see we've got much more detail um, in our. Um, uh, in our texture, so uh, yeah, so there you go, and then we go back into our offset scale. And I'll just go and find our ramp, and we can you can pretty start to bring in that effect that we did there. So yeah, so create really quick, interesting, um, uh, yeah, networks. So uh, there you go. Okay, so the other two tutorials which we um, in which I talk about this, one of them is this globe where we use them um, we use a uh, map to create a, a kind of a 3d globe like this so we use a, um, an image of the earth so there's that tutorial to look out for and then also there is the whole hood tutorial which uses um, lots and lots and lots of noise textures to create some really uh, cool and fun effects so yeah um, so there's that as well so um, that's it for your kind of beginners look at maps it's on every node um, really really useful so um, uh, yeah get how go and have a play. Um hope you found that useful.